Taurus, hi. All right, let's get into your reading. Peek at your person. Starting off with the overall energy. We have heartache and loss, memories of love. So I feel like somebody's really heavily thinking about you, um, feeling some kind of heartache and loss. There was some sort of disruption uh, that interfered with this, and now they want to heal or just feel like maybe this is a temporary break or somebody could be moving on here. Um, and somebody's waiting. So maybe you're moving on and they're waiting or they're waiting, vice versa. <laughs> you know what I mean. All right, let's get into your reading, Taurus. Uh, starting off with your person's current energy, current situation. Keep in mind it is a general reading, Taurus. So when I say your person's energy, it could actually be yours. So feel free to flip flop and reverse it. Same to you, Cross Watcher. All right, what is going on? They don't want to walk away. So it's them that's waiting. Again, could be flip-flopped and reversed. Somebody's moving on, somebody's not moving on. So, all right. Heavily thinking about you. Heavily thinking about you. All right, what else going on with your person? Ooh, a whole bunch of stuff is going on. Uh, could have been drama, arguments, disputes, fighting. Too many people involved. Getting attention. Hmm. Ten of Cups. They could be trying to get your attention. Because it's like trying to get attention. It's like, hey, I'm over here. You know, look at me. Pay attention to me. I'm hearing that song, um, Billy Idol, Breakfast Club. Don't you forget about me. Like they still, it's like they're still trying to stay present, like in your face type of thing. So if they're following you on social media, maybe they're liking your posts just to remind you, I'm watching, I'm still here, you know, don't forget about me. I feel like they're, they're not in a good place though. Now I'm hearing Down in a Hole by Alice in Chains. <laughs> They could be confused as to what happened. Maybe they had other options. I don't know. Confused about commitment, heartache, pain, disappointment. Did they not want to commit or lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, manipulation, seven of swords. What is this about? Two of cups. Was somebody in a commitment and was lying about it? Aries energy, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. <sighs> Taurus. Was this a situation where somebody was in a commitment, stepped out of the commitment, gave kind of like maybe a false hope to this person or to you? Very wishy-washy, in and out energy. So did this person lie to you? They were really in a commitment but said they weren't. Truth came out and then you walked away and now they're feeling the loss of you. There was definitely something dramatic that went down. So let's see what's blocking or what interfered because there was a disruption. What's blocking? What interfered? Family? Somebody could have been. Had a family dynamic. Commitment. Bread crumbing, giving to two, choice and love, queen of pentacles. Another earth sign by any chance? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo that they couldn't walk away from. Somebody was bread crumbing here. Passion, attraction, desire, trying to reignite the flame but being rejected. Not being able to level up or entertain a commitment here because there already is one. Now they're not happy. You were not on the same page. You were not seeing things clearly. You didn't have the same perspective of this. Yeah, there was a lot of confusion in this connection. And it has to do with somebody not being honest. If somebody was truthful and honest from the beginning, then maybe this wouldn't be so confusing. Okay. 
I'm hearing that song, One Kiss Is All It Takes, Falling In Love With Me. So it could have just been something that was supposed to just be a fling, somebody caught feelings, or... That commitment is is getting to me. It's It's making me wonder... What was that about with heartache, pain, disappointment? All right, let's see. How does this person feel about you? How do they feel about you, Taurus? Justice in reverse. Are you married to this person and asking for a divorce or a breakup or like a committed relationship and asking for a breakup and they don't want it? Or is that what's going on in their life? I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of confusion going on with this one. All right, so somebody's feeling left out, abandoned, or left hanging, but this is how they feel about you. You're not chasing them. They don't think you're a player. So yeah, see, they see you as you. And now they, they could feel like they had to abandon you. Yeah. Confusion. Oh, they don't want you to reject them, though. They're waiting for you. They feel you moving on, but they, they're like trying to manifest you back, hoping and praying for you back. See, commit, toxic commitment. Who's stuck in a toxic commitment or some kind of a commitment? You? Sadness, loss, regret, remorse, trying to move into calmer waters. Single, solo, independent. So they see you as single, solo, independent. It's very confusing, Taurus. Stress, anxiety. This, this created a lot of stress for, for both of you, but for you, for sure. And they, it's like they know that they created stress. Not waiting, waiting to reignite the flame with you. For some of you, I'm just going to throw this out there. There could have been a pregnancy involved, maybe by a third party situation. Could have been. I also have Leo energy here. So taking action, taking control, ego. Trying, wanting to heal. You're their wish fulfillment. So it's like they want to be with you, but... I feel like this person just... They, they weren't honest with you about things. Breadcrumbed you, left you hanging. Very wishy-washy energy. What is this person's intentions? Towards what are their intentions? Forward movement, forward movement. Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot. Not being blocked. They don't want to be blocked. Tower. Ace of Wands in reverse. Burden. So they may feel like they have no choice but to move on. They don't want to, but they may feel like you're not going to forgive them. You're not going to take them back. If they are married or in a higher level of commitment somehow, some way, they are going to work on a separation there in the meantime. But I don't see a fast movement here. They're, yeah, see, they're kind of going back and forth. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I, what do I do? I don't know what to do. There's a lot of confusion with this person, which... I understand why you're probably confused and trying to figure it out. This person is very, um, th 
I feel like they struggle to make a, a decision and stick with it. I feel like they are very easily maybe persuaded or um, scared, afraid, afraid to make a move, afraid to take that leap, afraid of the unknown, afraid to be alone. So I'm feeling like a lot of fear with this person, which is delaying this person and also creating them to not make a decision or a move. So if you're wondering if this person's going to come rushing back towards you, oh yeah, I'm separated, I'm single, finally it's happening, it's going to be a bit. So I don't suggest waiting for them. They want you to wait for them, but I feel like you waited long enough. So what are you going to do, Taurus? I think you're abandoning this. Mm, but I have waiting. No, okay. You could be waiting for your ships to come in. But I feel like you, you are. You're ending this. Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles. You feel maybe backstab betrayal. It was a painful ending. It could have been a little toxic, too. It's out of your control. You're just going to kind of go with the flow now here. Some of you, you could have lived at a distance, or there could have been travel involved, but you're... <laughs> There might be one final conversation that turns into a heated argument. And I feel like that's going to be your deciding factor. I feel like, yeah, you're one last heart to heart that turns out into a huge blow, you know, stress. Yeah, just create stress. Reconciliation in reverse. Blocked. You're standing. You're standing. Your um, your ground. Putting your walls up. Guards up. Boundaries. Planting seeds, possibly towards somebody new. A water sign. A water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I had King and Queen of Cups and the Lovers. Some of you are moving on to new. And it's, a yeah, moving on to calmer waters. You've made up your mind. And I feel like, and you're healing. Yes, following your intuition. Good. I feel like it's a water sign. And it is a divine counterpart. And we have the lovers here. So I'm going to make it this way. The two of you are looking at each other with your cup. And then the lovers here. So you've made that choice. You've made that decision. If this is a water sign that you're dealing with, I feel like you're moving on. You, you, yeah, you're moving on. Could be another water sign. It doesn't necessarily need to be a water sign. It's a divine counterpart. I mean, I have other signs here. I have Taurus is here. Capricorn came in strong. Uh, Libra, Gemini. Um, Leo. Could be any sign all right you guys any sign at all it's a general reading so i don't know you're moving on into calmer waters back to life back to reality right you're just closing the door closing out the cycle oh but <laughs> Maybe you are sticking with this person. I don't know. Okay. Unbreakable love. This person has genuine love for you. You can overcome any issues that may arise. Deception. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. Letting go. If someone leaves you confused more than comforted, you need to reassess their access to you. This, <laughs> because this person's confused, it's projected onto you, making you confused. Until this person really knows what they want, it's going to be that way. You are enough. This, uh, the person you are meant to be with will love you the way you are. You don't need to change. Leave your fears behind. They are stopping a relationship from blossoming. So again, if you are trying to move on, don't bring that baggage into a new one. Soulmate. There is a strong soulmate bond or connection here. And I feel like it could be with that new person. This could have been a lesson. However, this person feels like you are their soulmate and they want to heal. 
but they are kind of still, I don't know what to do or, or what moves to make here in my life, you know? So soulmate, this person is your soulmate. Connection is sacred. So let's see what's going on here. Breakup, walking away, ending, separation, it's over. Yep, I see that. Toxic relationship, fighting. I saw a lot of fighting. Codependent, misunderstanding, trigger, music, uh, musician, snake, charmer, harmony, medallic, uh, signs and synchronicities, coincidence, signal, hint, message from the universe, follow your intuition, family. There's something about family or family dynamic that did come through. Maybe you have a child. There is a pregnancy that showed up. Potential. Party, celebration, event, pu public social gathering, magnetic attraction, fear, grass is greener. And you're at a crossroads, yeah. Could have been some kind of addiction, maybe, partying. I don't know. Place it where you see fit. All right, let's get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. W X D N I Y O A C U Z E B X Y N I Y O D A B C Z U E. All right, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, an angel number, an age. Play around with the numbers. By the way, uh, angel numbers, I am seeing six, six, and six. It's not a bad, um, it, it's not bad. And four, four, if you look it up, all right? Doesn't mean what you think it does. So I have one, 11, so one, 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 three, and five. So one, three, five, 11. So it could be 13, 15, 51, 31, 11. So January, March, May, and November. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with. Remember, it's a general reading. It could be any zodiac sign, all right? Or strong placements in their charts or something could happen during that season like Taurus season, for instance. All right, we have double Scorpio. So Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer, Libra, and Sagittarius. All right. All right, again, could be any sign. Uh, Taurus, that is what I have for you this week. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.